friends, in our lives, not everything works out the way that we have planned, but how are we to respond to that? And what does it do to our prayer lives? The, the topic that we're looking at here in this chapter is living in gospel stories. And what the author is talking about is that your life is a gospel story. Yeah, we, we have stories that are ongoing under the authority of Almighty God. And sometimes it just seems like everything's falling apart. Uh, the author tells of one story in his own life where everything was falling apart. But, you know, what he really needed to learn, what he needed to be humbled. And then to remember Philippians 2 that says, let this mind be in you that was also in Christ Jesus. You know, who being in the form of God did not consider equality with God something that he had to grasp at, but he made himself a servant. You know, he humbled himself, made himself a servant, even to death on the cross. We have to have that heart, that mind in us. And we need to join then with, in, uh, with others in the fellowship of sharing in the sufferings of Jesus Christ. And this is happening throughout the world. So we need to somehow enjoy God's story as it works out in our lives and then do what was said earlier in Philippians, rejoice in the Lord always. So gospel stories give meaning to suffering because we know that the end is so good. And, and we watch, we watch for the unseen a connection where in the hand of Almighty God, tragedies uh, can even become comedies, things that we never think, thought we'd ever laugh about, we can, and, and hope is born. Blessings.